Because of new moves by the Trump administration, hundreds of thousands of immigrants in the U.S. are at risk of losing their temporary protective status. They may now face deportation. This is hitting close to one family that's been living in Maine for the past six years. A member of that family is now a plaintiff in a lawsuit against the administration filed in federal court this week. He spoke with New Center Maine's Clay Gordon. A lawsuit against the Trump administration and the Department of Homeland Security stemming from the president's comments and stance on immigrants with temporary protective status in January. TPS holders are eligible to work and to travel in the U.S. and can't be deported. But the administration wants to lift that restriction, which could put up to 270,000 children of immigrants in danger of deportation. Good morning, everyone. Mazen Ahmed is a sophomore at University of Southern Maine. He also went to Westbrook High School. He's back in Maine after a trip to San Francisco, where the lawsuit was filed. He's a plaintiff, along with 10 immigrants and five children of immigrants, and the ACLU of Southern California. Ahmed is representing the 450 Sudanese people living with temporary protective status in the U.S. It was Sudan, Haiti, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. Sudan has been running the longest, and it's going to be ending the soonest. What does that mean for you and your family? It's going to be hard, because without the TPS, we can't work. There's no work authorization. Are you guys at risk of getting deported? Definitely. Everyone from the TPS uh, program is at risk, but we're, we're very confident. You know, we're, we're trying to stay positive. If, if you don't stay positive and try your best, then there's no point of hoping for the best if you're not actually willing to do something about it. Ahmed is studying to be a pediatrician. He says he's planning on staying and using his doctorate in the United States. Do you think it's hurtful when people say to get out? All of them don't get any government benefits. We can't get loans, no financial aid, no food stamps or any benefit whatsoever. So it's just very sad seeing these kids who are like excelling in everything they do have to suffer because of decisions that just are illogical. If you had to say anything to President Trump, what would you say? I'd say read the facts first or get educated because not everything is based on what you think or what people tell you. And most of the uh, decisions I've seen were based on his either anger or ignorance. And ignorance really is bliss. Clay Gordon reporting. A Homeland Security spokeswoman told the Associated Press in February the agency does not comment on pending litigation.